Hello, my name is Kari. I use they, them, or he, him pronouns. I'm originally from Washington, D.C., and I went to school at Duke uh, with Miss Potter. Um, right now, I'm based in the San Francisco Bay Area, where I work in theater, and now is an interesting time to be a theater artist. Pretty much my entire career is built around people gathering together in large groups, um, which is uh, entirely forbidden right now. Um, so it's been it's been a period of adjustment and trying to find ways to keep uh, making work, to keep making art, and part of that for me has been reciting poetry. Um, so I'm excited to share some work with you today. Um, the poem whose work I'm going to share is named Laylee Long Soldier, and she is a Lakota poet um, whose work I first encountered in this great uh, book-length poem called Whereas, um, which is a response to the U.S. government's formal apology for violence against Native Americans and the historical course of colonization, which continues today. And uh, Whereas is a book that engages with the language of treaties, engages with this very formal language of governments, um, but also reworks them and makes that more human. The poem I'm sharing today is sort of uh, more on a perhaps individual or personal level. Um, and it's a poem that's called Obligations Too. And this is a sort of choose your own adventure kind of poem, of the way it's laid out on the page. You can actually follow different paths through the poem. And when I read it, I'll read it in a linear way and then lead it along different paths. And something that I really like about it is that each path always passes through grief. Um, and in this time in which I'm trying to sort of wrap my head around uh, everything going on in the world, I think each of us has different losses that we're going through, whether it's the loss of the play that I was going to perform this spring that I've been working on for the past two years and the grief I have for that, or the grief of not being able to see my friend across the city. Because um, right now in the Bay Area, we're on something called shelter in place where we're not supposed to leave our house for um, any non-essential activity. We're only allowed to leave for um, getting groceries or getting some exercise outdoors. Um, so it's a strange time to be here. So I'll go through and give you a linear reading and then um, follow through one of the paths you can take in the poem. And I really hope you enjoy this. So again, Obligations to by Laylee Long Soldier. As we embrace, resist the future, the present, the past, we work, we struggle, we begin, we fail to understand, to find, to unbraid, to accept, to question the grief. The grief, the grief, the grief we shift, we wield, we bury into light as ash across our faces. And if you take a path, it can be something like, as we embrace the present, we begin to accept the grief we wield as ash across our faces. Something like that. Take a look, and I'm wishing you well, and I hope you stay safe. As somebody who's in, in California, I, I know it's uh, we're experiencing the worst of it right now, so really do your best to make preparations.